I'm sorry for dumping my problems on you. Not at all. You have a tough job. I'm not sure I could do it. Being a nurse, like being a policeman or a fireman, I imagine it puts you right in the heart of people's pain. Yeah, I never really thought about it like that. They say you learn to build a wall around yourself so you don't have to feel it. Other people's pain, I mean. Yes, you do learn to detach yourself. But it's impossible to detach from your own problems. Yeah, we all have reasons to feel sorry for ourselves. You don't strike me as the kind of woman who feels sorry for herself. <laughs> if I only have a few months to live, why waste them being miserable? And if some miracle occurs, life will still be too short to wallow. Either way, I intend to have as much fun as I can. Naples, here I come. Oh. It works. Say it. Say what? Come on. Cough it up. All right, this lamp looks much better here than it ever would have in my apartment. Thank you. No, thank you. Now I have an excuse to go buy a new lamp. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, but if you need any decorating advice, you can call me. I'm also available for Elizabeth advice as well. She's just having a hard time letting go. I mean, she was unfaithful, and she's looking for redemption. And you're just nice enough to give that to her. I'm just not interested in punishing her anymore. I mean, I've let go of everything except the boys. They're the only thing that connects us now. You really don't believe that, do you? I mean, Elizabeth isn't just going to go away quietly. I'll see ya. See ya. You should probably know that since you turned down her deal,